Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 and today we're going to take a another look at a mod off of modhub.us and it is the John Deere baler and its trailer. They feature small convenient handheld bells and the trailer is auto loading and unloading so they work in conjunction with each other. Okay, uh, the first thing you got to know about the map, you're going to get it, or the mod. You're going to get it, and it's going to be into a zip file. You need to unzip that. Take out the 24-ton baler, it's a 24T, and the trailer. Take the tractors that come with it and throw them in the trash. They're junk. They're pure, and I don't know why they're added to this. All it does is bulk up the file size. Uh, I mean... Just look at the difference in the wheels here. <laughs> so, yeah, take uh, take these two. Uh, just toss them in the delete folder in your recycle bin, and you're good to go. Uh, slide them over into your mod folder, and boom, installed. Now, I've seen some people say that this mod doesn't work. It does work, except for the the wording on your F1 menu is uh, really weird when it comes to it. But we're going to go over that. So, uh, here's what we need to look at. Um, the baler itself is pretty decent, needs a little bit of texture work, nothing major. I'm not sure why they use this PTO shaft instead of the one that you can get off of a giant's, uh, item anyway. So you get like this really odd conflict, I'll show you here in just a second, uh, between the two. I think it would have look, looked a ton better with the other one. Uh, the texture is just kind of blandish, but the model itself is really, really good. Um, I think if this person teams up with somebody that is really good at, like texture painting or something like that and can make a texture map for this and a normal this will look really really good and it's kind of fun to use even though it's a little bit awkward uh, it drives sideways so yeah um, like just the difference between the wheels the wheel not the tire that the wheel and the rest of the baler is completely you know it's just this is taken from somewhere else and then put onto this, but this looks really good And if this looks like that then a-okay in my book, uh, it's fine to use. I don't think it looks horrible. It has a dirt mask on it So it does You know show up dirty, which is nice uh, The bale trailer itself. This is its uh, Unloading position with the front gate open the front gate closes whenever it needs to load and I think that's where the confusion comes uh, some people said it didn't work whenever you attach the bale trailer. You have to close this, which is open it on the menu. Uh, and again, we'll go over that in just a second. I like the texturing on the wood planks. It gives it a, a used look. Uh, the rack itself needs a little bit of a normal map work, but nothing bad. Tires look okay. It's a pretty good mod. Like I say, just take away the tractors and you've got a pretty good standalone mod. So what's it like to use? Here's our setup that we've been using. Again, you can see it gets dirty. Uh, we've got it behind the New Holland 110-90 turbo. Uh, it pulls it just fine, no problems. This is the conflict I was talking about. It's a little odd. Uh, it's nothing horrible. It's just, like you've got this one, and then it comes into here. And the bellows is missing from right here in this area, uh, around the PTO where the joint would be. So I think if you take the PTO from the base game and put it into this, that'll help it look tremendously better and not as janky, because that looks kind of jank. Um, it stacks these little bales, which you can move if I turn on all my stuff. So they're handy. It stacks them like this. Um, I think they're like 400 liter or something like that. They're not very big. Let's go ahead and try to get it to work. So if we unfold the bell trailer, it closes that, right? So then we go back over to the baler itself and we try to, one, lower the pickup and see what it does. Okay, then we turn it on. Okay, it works there. That's unfolded. So if we go back to this and hit fold bale, it kicks it out immediately. This won't come back on. It stutters and, and none of the controls work. Okay, so that's the problem people are having. When you hook up this, you want to go over to your G menu to your trailer, 
hit X to unfold it, which closes the gate. Okay, that allows it to start loading. Okay, we're back on and rolling. So, like I said, it pulls from the side, and you can't change that because it loads directly in the center here. Bell pop up and then pop up into the trailer. It works pretty good. The flying through the air animation. I don't think there's anything you can do about that. Sometimes it'll roll off the back and then uh, do some really weird stuff. And the 600 liter bales, I'm sorry. I thought it was 400. Let's see how it goes. And then the trailer will automatically pick it up. So the trailer has an auto loading script, which is not bad. But it doesn't, like, it's not its fault, it's the way it's designed. You can't do, like, really, really tight turns with it either. So you're going to be skipping some and then uh, going back around. We'll load up here just a couple more. Okay. Then we can hit Y. Turn it off. Then we hit Unload Baler. Now it'll pop out another one. So then we switch to our bale trailer. Okay, now we hit X to fold it. Hit B to where we want it. So we have left, right, and then it disappears twice. I don't know what that's about. And then it doesn't list the command, but you just hit Y. And it pops them out. No problem. Then you would fold it up again, and you're ready to start bailing again. So, yeah, that's how it all works. Here is what it looks like when it's dirty. Okay, so this is what it looks like whenever it starts getting dirty. So it does have the mud mask on it. So it will show dirty. The bailing trailer does too. And But the way you have to do this with creative tools is one has to be selected. And then I'll have a clean tractor, a dirty implement, and then a clean trailer. So trust me, they get dirty. <laughs> it, it all works. Uh, there's no real problem with it. Here's the log. Okay, this is the log for this map. Uh, we're not getting any loading errors for the mods themselves. Uh, the ones that I do have are known, like button issues with the foreshift and Woodshire. And they're being worked on, so we can uh, look at those later in another video. That's not a problem. The only thing that is a problem is whenever we get down to here. The Lua script uh, for calling the the hay rack to load and unload is there's like a conflict there. And it could be because I'm using more realistic engine than this. So but that's how I do all my mod reviews. Uh, that seems to be what the Lua call stack uh, error is for. It's out of range. I'm thinking that is the issue there. It's nothing major. It's not causing any performance issues or anything like that. And it's continuous every time I get a bail. It, it'll come up as that. And then we get the longer error down here. This is when I was uh, trying to unload the uh, bail stack off the trailer. So that's another one. But again, we're getting... Uh, the callback function going through the more realistic mod. So I think it's a conflict there. Um, but yeah, other than that, it works. And I don't see any problem using it. It looks pretty good. Needs a little bit of texture work, nothing bad. Uh, probably easily re uh, remedied through Blender or something like that. Doing a uh, UV unwrap. So you can you know, put your own textures on there. Like, having something just on this wheel uh, would be very, very nice. Make it pop a little bit more, you know. It doesn't have to be big, because whenever you're in the tractor, you're kind of far away anyway. You know, you're not looking at it like you are on top of it, staring at it all the time. That's why you can get away with the uh, hexagonal, or octagonal uh, holes, because whenever you step away, it still looks like a hole. You know, that's just how it is, even the giant's one even has that. And this is a giant's wheel, so yeah. Okay, 
that is the John Deere baler, the 24-ton baler, and the trailer that goes with it. Here is what they look like. They are both in the baling technology section. 16-foot trailers, 2400 bucks, and the baler itself is 2700 bucks. There's no options for either, no color changes or anything like that. So yeah, pretty good mod. Uh, be sure to check it out. The link to the description. The link to this mod will be in the description below. So yeah, feel free to check it out. And uh, if y'all have one you want me to check out, let me know down in the comments below. Everybody have a good day.